So with an increasing popularity of people getting their CHL license or CCW licenses, depending on what state you live in, the popularity of these small pistols, such as the Ruger LCP, Keltec P3AT, uh, Taurus TCP, and so on, have been on the rise. And so today we're going to do a quick review of the Ruger LCP. Now you got to see a little bit of action with it, not too much because I actually haven't got to shoot this pistol too much yet. But we're going to go ahead, show you what I've found on the little bit of amount of shooting that I've been able to do with it, and just show you what I think. So, first of all, with the Ruger LCP, I guess we'll go ahead and just start out with the size. So the length is 5.16 inches. And that's going from the farthest point back here all the way up to the tip. 5.16 inches long. The width is where this pistol really shines, coming in at 0.82 inches. Now, in my opinion, any pistol that's under 0 0.9, 0 0.95 is an extremely thin pistol. So this right here is extremely, extremely thin. And lastly, it's 3.6 inches tall. Now, I do not believe that is including the um, extended magazine plate or not. Um, those are just the specs coming from Ruger. So uh, maybe after this video, we might get the ruler out and see what it is with the extended mag on. I do believe that's with the flush fit magazine. Um, so since we're talking about the magazine, we got six round capacity in the magazine. And you can throw one in the pipe. And just so you guys know, a lot know a lot of you like to freak out. It's unloaded. Nothing in the chamber. So that would give you a total of seven for carry. And that's something that you do sacrifice if you're willing to carry it. Small pistol like this. Um, you're not going to get a ton of capacity. You know, you could carry a Glock 17. Uh, get get uh, 17 rounds plus 118. Um which is nice, but for some people, um, certain times, they just need to carry something smaller. Um, so we're going to real quick go through the features. Uh, this is a double action only pistol. So we're in a safe direction, just so you know, I'm about to pull the trigger. Um, it's, a it's a long and hard trigger pull. Not too long, but it is a hard trigger pull. And that is because there's no safety on this gun. And it doesn't have the trigger safety similar to like a Glock or something like that has. So the hard trigger pull is the safety on this gun. Um, I don't know if that's a plus or a minus for you. Some people like external safeties. Um, some people don't like them. Um, in my opinion, your reasoning for getting this gun would be to carry. Um, this isn't a gun that you would get because uh, you want a, a fun shooter. So for me, in my opinion, a safety is not something that I... Um, mine not having on my carry pistol. It's not necessarily something that I don't like, um, but it doesn't bother me not having that. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about? Okay, another thing that might concern you, it doesn't, the slide does not lock back on an empty magazine. So you have to count your rounds to know when it's empty. Um, now that's really a big deal either. But, so, just to show you, the magazine's in it, it's empty, and if I pull the slide back, it's not going to lock. If you want the slide to lock back, you have to actually pull it back and put push the slide lock up. Um, something I think is kind of cool. Uh, Derek doesn't think it's that cool, but I think it's cool. <laughs> Whenever you uh, want to lower, want to push the slide back down, you don't have to hit the slide release. All you have to do is just pull it back, and it automatically goes forward. Um, so, let's talk about shooting it. Um, when I got this pistol, um, I picked it up only because I got it on a super deal. Um, used from a friend of mine. I couldn't pass it up. Um, generally speaking, uh, Ruger LCP is going to run you around $300 new. Um, it comes with one magazine, that's all. But anyway, back to when I was shooting it, um, I didn't think it was going to be very accurate at all. And whenever I first went to, sh went to shoot it, I stepped up maybe 10 or 15 feet from the target because I had a feeling it wasn't going to be accurate at all. And it really surprised me. Um, I'm not a great shot by any means. 
and I thought I shot pretty well with it. But um, on mine, what I found that helped out a lot is I painted the front sight with some uh, modeling paint that you'd use to paint model cars with. Um, let's see if we can get a sight picture on it at all. How are we doing there? Try to line it up for you. Mm -hmm. So you can see the front sight a lot better. Um, it's just going to be black, and you have a hard time seeing that front sight in the daytime, much less the uh, the night. So that, that really helped out for me. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it, just breaking it down, um, showing you guys the Ruger LCP. I'll show you what I carried in real quick. Um, we just have the... Uh, DeSantis, or DeSantis, however you say it, Nemesis, it's a pocket holster. Um, not the biggest fan of pocket holsters, but, um, you know, um, it works. If you can't carry any other way, the summertime, um, throw this in your pocket of some shorts or whatever, and you can't see it at all. Um, the one thing that I will say about carrying in the pocket is when you go to grab your gun, in your pocket, you're going to kind of have to adjust your grip whenever you um, get it out. So that that's not that great. It could be better. Um, but in earlier in the video, there was a little clip where I did um, pull it out of my pocket. And as you can see, I was able to get it out pretty quickly um, without too much of a issue. But there it is, guys. Ruger LCP. 6 plus 1 magazine. Give you a total of 7. Thanks for watching.